closing up on that card again, you're going to the trailer. You understand me? Daddy, why don't you hop on? Don's gone. Maybe I can take a shit in peace. Don't bank on it. I was gonna say, I wouldn't either. I got all kinds of ideas. I was telling Phil, I want to bring my port of power over here. What should we do with these? And put one of, the, one of the rams there and bury a line over here. Should we start the truck up? Every time they get in there, jack up one side and start oh. tilting it. You know what I need when I come to the golf cart? Light his ass up with the siren. You know what we really need is Mike's little BB machine gun that runs off air power and shoots like 4,000 BBs a second. You just pepper the hell out of the BB thing with BBs. That's actually funny too. Let's get a log and just throw it against the side. <laughs> we need to pre-position one of these on the other side so we can put the blower in the vent. <laughs> we just need to get on the... Boop! We need to get on the BA. He's taking a dump! <laughs> <laughs> Coming. The cedar is less than impressive. It looked impressive when he threw it on there and then it just kind of fizzled. Yeah. Did Mike ever tell you that whole thing he did? You were there, you saw it. Where he put that button because he knew I would touch it. And he had brake lines filled with grease. No. So when I hit the button, it would no. pepper me. No. <laughs> He knows I have this uh, affliction with buttons and switches. I can't. I don't. I don't read. I just see and I push, push and pump and. What about that? So he built. It looked Somebody like, in there. Uh, it was a Tony box was about there. this big, but yay wide, with just a single rubber button in the middle. <laughs> and it was wired. You know the bench. You walk into his garage door. Right. In the bench, the L bench. Yeah. And then you go to the parts right. door, the bench, right to the parts door. Right where bench. the vice was. And that's where the, the button's still there, as far as I know. <laughs> and he had this whole contraption set up compressed air, grease, <laughs> and electricity. <laughs> and the only thing he didn't take into account was my reach. <laughs> so it missed. Because I walked up and I touched it like this instead of like this. And I hit the button and this freaking wad of grease just goes. <laughs> it just peppered where the real grinder is. It just peppered it. It was all full of grease. And I was like, what the hell was that? And him and Norbert are sitting over there freaking just losing it because one, it was funny, but two, they pissed that they didn't get me. <laughs> And then I was on to him. <laughs> I used to have, yeah, my first job, I worked at Arby's, and the manager was always playing pranks on people. And no matter where you went, every door that was half open, he'd put a cup of water on top. You'd go and you'd be rushing in, hey, go get me a mop, quick. You go kick the door open, you get splashed every time. So one day I did it to him, but I put the water up on the door, and then I ran a string, that nylon thread, out the door to a vent that was up here. So he goes running in there, he looks up, sees the water, he kicks the door open, the other one is right on top. What's the matter, Darla? Cold. You want your sweatshirt? No. No, you're gonna, you're gonna trudge on through just like me. Yeah, I would not want to see any of those three coming out of the woods at me. <laughs> no.
Why don't you go get two packages of Pop-Tarts?